right. So welcome to another day in a fast life. Uh, we have dinner cooking right now. It's already later in the day. I had to wake up pretty early this morning, so didn't pull my camera out till now. Uh, I actually didn't get that much sleep, so uh, I got home at three o'clock in the morning and I had to be in an appointment at 10 o'clock this morning, which was an hour away, so I had to wake up at eight. So I got around four or five hours of sleep last night. Um, I'm gonna take you throughout my day, show you exactly what I eat and what foods I choose to eat in order to stay extremely satisfied while I reveal my body's most impressive looking physique. And I'll also uh, teach you a few of the things that you should know about the foods that you love in order to aid you in the benefits of you losing fat and building muscle, improving sex drive, cognitive function, and all of the incredible benefits that you can obtain by eating the foods that you love in the most enjoyable way possible. So I'll show you what I'm gonna eat. Dinner's cooking right now, and it's almost done. Fast Life Kitchen, August 26th, Fort Worth, Texas. Tonight, we're gonna have a young, slow-roasted chicken. Young range chicken. We've got infused Greek olive oil with crushed red peppers, garlic, salt, pepper, We've got some golden potatoes and a nice Vidalia onion, onion to sweeten everything up. Not sure how much calories is in this thing. As far as the uh, total meal itself, we're going to have some shrimp cocktail as well. Um, Joe, obviously CEO of Fast Life, will go ahead and explain that to you. Uh, the calorie and the nutritional benefits of this dinner tonight. Right, so we are having leftovers. This is what we're gonna start off with. We have some Asiago mashed potatoes and some fried potatoes with uh, some onions and peppers. And I threw some leftover steak, some pickles, and a few mushrooms in there. So uh, I'm gonna start off with this and I'll, I'll show you uh, the chicken that's coming out. Looks this is what we're gonna have for our second part of dinner. All right, so here's the rest of my dinner. Got a quarter of a chicken leg, and the rest is just chicken breast and a little bit of potato. But I'm pretty satisfied, so I might not finish this whole thing. Okay, so I just finished that fantastic meal, and I feel super good. Um, the meal was probably around 1,200 calories. Uh, somewhat in the range of enough carbohydrates, uh, maximal amount of protein for muscle growth, probably even uh, more than enough for me, uh, specifically for the body weight that I'm at right now. Um, and you would get your estimate from multiplying your body weight times 14. If you were to uh, get at least 30 to 60 minutes of activity in, and uh, that would be your calorie maintenance where you could possibly eat up to for your body not to gain weight. So you want to eat under that uh, to lose fat. So uh, <clears throat> including that meal, that provided me with a specific amount of macronutrients that optimize feelings of fullness by providing sufficient protein. And potatoes are actually one of the most filling foods that we can obtain in our diet uh, from any food whatsoever. It's actually one of the most highly researched foods that optimizes fullness. Uh, and because it's a starchy carb, um, most of them have high levels of tryptophan, which aid in the release of serotonin. And uh, tryptophan is an amino acid that uh, boosts neurotransmitter levels in the brain and uh, along with tryptophan, there would be tyrosine, which is found in lean meats and uh, dairy. Uh, Low-fat dairy is, is the better choice, so you can eat more of it and feel full because dairy is actually more beneficial to have in your diet uh, for protein, and you wanna choose low-fat sources. But they also provide monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, and saturated fats, uh, which optimize the production of sex hormones and you can increase sex drive while you're on a diet by providing those specific uh, food sources into your diet on an everyday basis. Um, so yeah, ter tericine is one of the most 
uh, essential amino acids there is to optimize uh, increases in catecholamine levels because tyrosine, uh, which is found in dairy in lean meats, low fat dairy uh, for the benefit, but um, it turns into catecholamines, norepinephrine and epinephrine, which is adrenaline and noradrenaline. And they serve to boost fat mobilization. And they are also the precursor of dopamine, which is the neurotransmitter that um, sends feelings of, of reward and satisfaction. So uh, keeping those specific foods in your diet, such as fiber and rich carbs, uh, low fat dairy and lean meats, those three sources of foods are incredible to have on an everyday diet so that you can improve uh, feelings in fullness, uh, maximize uh, sex drive and sex hormone production, and also uh, benefit cognitive function by supporting enough carbohydrates um, to promote optimal uh, mental stability and mobility. Uh, without carbohydrates, you can drastically reduce energy levels to where you can um, mess up uh, training intensity. So that's why it's good to support yourself with an essential amount of carbohydrate um, to sustain optimal levels of performance. So that was my meal. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Or if I even choose to go out, um, have a couple drinks. Uh, but we have some amazing ice cream in the fridge and that's what I've been eating to make me feel absolutely amazing While losing fat and building muscle, so we'll see what tonight has in okay, store. So I'm going to finish my night here watch some Netflix have some gelato and some pineapple upside down cake frozen yogurt I kind of mixed them uh, because I didn't have enough in this bowl to hit my calories so um, this is what I'm going to finish off with and uh, that is it this basically has all the carbohydrates and fats that would optimize sex hormone production and cognitive function and mobility so I'm going to slowly enjoy this watch some Netflix and get to bed so that was my full day of eating and I'm getting pretty lean doing it. So I hope you like this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next one.